Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, folks, wherever you are in the world. This is Duncan speaking from eTrike.net. Um, just want to show you a quick solution um, that I found personally for my own GoPro Hero 5. One of the problems that we, we tend to get, and, and it's, you know, it's talked about quite a lot on different forums, is this thing here. This huge 3.5mm external adapter um, for a external mic and a lot of people are basically saying that they don't know where to put it or how to position it um, it just dangles there flaps around and actually before I did this I had it also flapping around it wasn't ideal at all and on one occasion I shot about half an hour of video ended up with no sound whatsoever because it just it had just worked its way loose um, and the connection here had worked its way slightly loose and of course that meant that it was no longer plugged in and so we had no sound for half an hour worth of video so they were pretty much trash. So what I decided to do was try and come up with a solution which would just get that external mic out of the way in a place where it didn't look too bad um, and also make sure that everything was, was nice and rock solid. So what I've done here is you can see that I've just used two zip ties Behind here there's a little bit of double-sided tape just for some extra security and what these do is if I turn this around you can hopefully now see or not right here there's the, the two little zip ties and how they are zip tied in place around this thing here which is the, uh, the little um, stand adapter which I've got which is in, if you go onto eTrike.net there is a review of that particular um, little attachment there which is actually quite useful. Anyway so this just zip ties all the way around here and that allows then the cable here to very firmly sit in the side here it's not going to wobble out of place at all so that's nice and firm as you can see the adapter itself is nicely positioned here so it's out the way I think it doesn't look too ugly okay it's, it's not exactly what I'd uh, um, prefer to have at the front there but look looks fine and that just uh, basically just puts everything nice and firmly out the way this is really firm here there's no way that's going anywhere um, and at the same time like I said that cable in the side is also going nowhere and then if I can just position myself without knocking anything so this one here will then just come out. You'll notice I've got a little bit of Velcro here around it. That Velcro just comes loose like that. And what I can then do with it is literally it just bends over here like that. And this one then just wraps around there like that. And wraps behind and all that does then is it just keeps that one completely and nicely in place and just out of the way so it's not flapping around anywhere at all so hopefully that might just give someone an idea of uh, how they can also just keep that microphone adapter out of the way so again that one just has to go in it does have to go in a specific way, this one here, it won't go in either way, so it does have to go like that. And then what I do with this one is just wrap that around so it's out of the way. Nice and neat, and again, that one, as you can see, look, that is pretty firm in there. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. I had thought about possibly putting an elastic band around and under here, if for any reason that one shakes itself loose, I might, but the fact of the matter is this whole thing is no longer wobbling like this and that's what happens, you know, normally when you've, uh, when you've plugged this in and you haven't got this one uh, attached somewhere. That's just going to keep wobbling, 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 and then eventually it comes loose. As it is, I believe that that sits nicely there. There's no wobble whatsoever and I think that puts everything nicely in place where we want it. So hopefully that will have solved that problem. And so I'm just gonna leave that attachment there just uh, permanently attached to the trike um, 
and, uh, and just leave that in place because I don't really see any point in having it. That's the only thing I use it for is that GoPro and pretty much the only time I ever use that GoPro um, with the microphone adapter is on the trike, that's what it's there for. Um, but having said that, these are just zip ties. If I really need it, clip those off, take it with me and then next time I come round just put another couple of zip ties around there and we're off again. So a nice, cheap, simple way of doing it uh, and I think that solves the problem, at least for me. Alright, hope that helped. That's Duncan from eTrike.net. If you haven't done so already, make sure you join us on our Facebook group now where we've got, we're pushing 350 uh, members, many of whom are really expert in the world of electrified trikes and recumbent bikes, um, electrified bikes um, period. So come and join us on that forum there. There's plenty of chat. It's a very active forum. A large percentage of the members are active. Pop over to eTrike.net which is my blog there. Have a look at the articles and the videos like this one that I post there. And also subscribe to us on YouTube. Please do subscribe to us on YouTube and then any videos like this that come out you will get as soon as I post them. Alright, so that's Duncan from eTrike.net. Have a good one folks.